All right, guys. So in the second part of the uh, the playground modeling, we're going to go ahead and work on the crayon poles. So in the technical drawing, uh, we can see that they've gone some some detail because we've got the very tip of this. But we're going to pay attention to the uh, the modeling hint and use a center line to go ahead and help us actually create this shape. Uh, there are other tools that you could be using, um, the uh, loft tools or some of the extrusions. But I think this is a simpler way because it means that we've got one sketch that will create the entire object. And I think it will go a little faster. So in Onshape, we're going to go ahead and create a, another document. And we know that it's going to be the crayon pole. And from there, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose to do my extrusion, or my uh, sketch on the front pole. So I'm going to turn off visibility for those two, start a new sketch. And then within the technical drawing, the first thing I'm going to do is the uh, center line. And then we know that that's going to be 28.25 inches. It's going to be a fairly tall uh, line. So change my view. Grab the line tool, go start it, make sure that it's uh, snapped into the uh, vertical line. And then I'm going to select it, turn it into a construction line where you can just hit Q. And then I'm going to dimension it, pressing D, selecting the line, and then that 28.25. And then we'll kind of zoom out a little bit as needed. Okay. So we can see definitely a lot of length to that. So from there, um, we'll be able to dimension to what's acting as a center line, which means that we can stick to all of the uh, diameter measurements that it gives us. So we know the base is three inches. The, um, the tip will have a base of 2.7 inches, and then the very tip will be 2, uh, 0.6. So drawing the line tool again, we know that we're going out some distance. We're going up most of the distance, a little bit in. Okay, so we've got the rough shape in there, and then we can go ahead and let's see, check, make sure that we've got things perpendicular, since I think I may have mixed up a couple of those, and then grab our dimensioning tool. So we know that the base is three inch diameter. We know that the base of that is 2.7 and that we know the very top portion zoom in a little bit grab that from the point to the center line and we know that that's 0.6 okay. now not everything is fully dimensioned yet we actually need to know the height from that point down to the base so we could actually just grab that line and quick check that part is 24 inches so 24 inches so we notice that black lines all around that means that that is fully constrained and we can now finish up the sketch maybe get back to our home view and then we use the revolve tool to go ahead and spin it around now, because we don't have a solid shape yet, in on shape, we'll choose the surface, all of the edges that are going to rotate around, and then we grab the construction line, the center line, as our axis of rotation, at which point, with a full rotation, we have our crayon pole. So, nice thing about cloud is it's already saved, so we can go back to our uh, close the document, go back to our workspace, and we are up to five of our models. So hopefully that uh, worked fairly well for you. There are other ways of approaching it using the same data, but think about what information they provide you in the technical wrongs with diameters rather than um, base widths. Um, this was probably the faster way of doing it with uh, one sketch rather than having to create two or three sketches to take care of the um, the loft commands. So see you in the next video.